Well, yeah, we are back. So, welcome to Sorry if I skip I speak. Uh, it's our first show in over a, a week, I want to say. A good 10 days or so, maybe more. I, I believe it's something closer to like four months. Uh, yeah, that's right, not right. True. I mean, we had, yeah. like three, we had three videos this past month. John, John's been doing it. John's, John's been solo albuming it. He's been, he's been Paul McCartney the whole thing. But, the production uh, has been so much better. In my opinion, well, it's certainly, it's certainly, it's been much more factual, shall we say that? But uh, I believe people are a little bit hungry for opinion and conjecture, and that's what uh, we're going to bring to the table today. A lot of conjecture. I've got a lot of guesses about things that are going to go wrong this uh, year. Well, well, the big news, of course, is the Bengals have their fifty-three guys to start the season. It's going to yeah. change. Yeah, you know, three yeah. quarterbacks, one, two, three. You know, I mean, I mean it, it, all signs point to a very, very, very clear fact, and I just tweeted this out, uh, which is that the Indianapolis Colts are going to trade for Andy Dalton. It is obvious. The writing is on the wall, much like the urine at the Bengals Stadium on the urinal walls. It's very clear. You could smell it, and they're going to take Dalton away from, uh, from the Bengals. Uh, and, 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 and Finley's going to be the starter. I, I, I think this will probably happen this week. Yeah, I mean... I don't think so. I don't think he's getting traded. I think uh, it is interesting, John, in the modern NFL, how often do you see three quarterbacks? I mean, especially, like, sometimes you see three quarterbacks, like, you have an older veteran, maybe injury prone, and then you have a solid backup, and then you have, like, the, the hot shot rookie. But we don't have, you know, it's like, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's the solid veteran, and then the okay rookie, and then the long shot rookie. It's very it's strange. Wow. Which one of those is Dalton? <laughs> the, the long shot rookie or the, or the, uh, the, the other rookie? Which one? John, Dolga please, a serious a answer, shot. please. Dolga is a hot shot. He's a hot he, shot he, rookie. He might have the most arm talent of any quarterback on the roster right now. And if the, if the Colts want to give us Quinn Nelson for Andy Dalton, I'm all over that. I think, I think probably half the league keeps three quarterbacks. Uh, uh, unless, unless you're talking about playing three quarterbacks in the same game, which no, is no, I'm saying on the active minimal. 53. In other roster. words, in other words, John is a real league half empty kind of guy when it comes to getting rid of Dalton. But I'm a league, league half full. Yeah, he's he's looking at the he's looking at the, all the people who have three quarterbacks and don't get rid of their Andy Dalton. But I'm looking <laughs> at all the people who do, and I believe we, that is us. I think the Colts are not only down to two quarterbacks now. They cut like half of those guys, and one of them is. Brissett, who's who's or Chad Kelly, who's like suspended or something. So yeah, and they they had a pretty ah. decent season last year, so they probably have a lot of high hopes. I mean, I don't know if you agree with that, but I think I'm not. I'm not even sure the Colts would even want Dalton if they have Brissett, but that's a whole other topic. <laughs> well, that's a good point, actually. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Well, a- anyways, yeah, and you know, I don't know, man. I feel like uh, I feel like a change is gonna come pretty soon. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't. I don't see it happening. But, uh, okay, so, yes, yeah, so we have the quarterback situation. That's not that controversial. In- interesting situation at wide receiver. Now, we have Damian Willis, who impressed. Yeah. And, John, is he going to start week one? He is going to start week one for AJ Green. How about wow, that's that? That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Nuts. Would not have I mean, happened last year. Would not have no. happened last year. No, I believe that what uh, – correct me if I'm wrong. I believe Zach is – Coach Jack, Zach is trying to create the semblance of a meritocracy. And, 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 and that's what we're seeing here. Yeah, I, I see it. Um, but it's not a meritocracy. It's, it's a semblance of a meritocracy. It He'll get there eventually. Like He'll get there eventually. Yeah, he'll get there, but maybe. I don't think so. Not a lot of hope on this end. You know, I, I, I was disappointed in a lot of things that happened, uh, you know, in, in, in this year uh, with Coach Zach's decisions. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, f- f- getting rid of, uh, what's his name, Frank Oz? What was the, the, the O-line coach? He could have had, the, we could have had the O-line coach. What's his name, Oscar, or oh, Frank Oz? Frank-, Frank Pollock. Pollock, Pollock. Yeah, man, I can't believe we lost that guy. What, I mean, he, he, had him in, he had him in his hand, you know, and he, he didn't let him. We would have had a much better offensive line with Pollock around. I don't think they, they, they didn't lose him. They fired him. That's what I mean. They lost him. They, they fired him. Yeah. Why yeah. would you do that? Why would you? Because he why? drafted Billy Price in the first round and then Billy Price got benched. <laughs> so. Well, John, I mean, here's the thing about GMs. Like, okay, 
So a lot of jobs, you know how like they, we joke and they say, oh, you know, what does this person do? Well, a GM is one of those jobs where I don't feel like that. I feel like we know what they do. Like you look at the Texans, right? Yeah. They, today they traded Jadavian Clown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good deal, John. Yeah. What? Did they make a good deal? No. Yes, they, they did. Yes. No, no, no. They did not. And you know why? No. Because they don't have a GM. They like traded with like. There you go, John. You just said it. Yeah. So, so what I'm saying is. What's that? The Bengals don't have a GM. Exactly. No. So I'm saying blaming Pollock for drafting Price, you know, it's like he's not the GM. If GM standing for gross mold, it goes on your butt. I don't think you have a GM. I think coach is coach. That's what I think. No. Yeah, but 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 look, yeah, but look. Okay. Here's a question I have. Here's a question I have for my 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 uh, my distinguished colleagues. How much effort did Coach Zach do into changing up the QB situation this year when we needed the change? I didn't see him. I didn't see him having the 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 how shall we say the coconuts. Uh, I'm trying to think of a, a more a very polite way to put it. I didn't see him having the how shall we say the bowling balls. If you get my drift, if you see where I'm going with this. To, to, to change things up, QB, he had an opportunity to start afresh. And everybody would have been fine. And he could have gotten more for Dalton then than I think he, he, he's going to get uh, once people see that Andy Dalton, this, the 2009 Andy Dalton, is no better than the 2016 Andy Dalton. He's just three years older. That, that was a big co- uh, coaching mistake. He should push, push, uh, push the Dalton away. That, that, that'll come down the road, I think. That they just wanted to see how he does this year, and honestly, it's like it's like a catch twenty two. You have Dalton, if he plays out of his mind this year, then you have a conversation of are the Bengals even going to pay him for how much that he's going to be worth on the open market? I don't think it's going to happen. I think he's going to maintain a level of play that will keep him affordable with the team, but that's a whole other conversation. But John, look, we, need, we, need, we need to talk about the roster. We can't we can't keep, keep talking about Andy Dalton. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's here's talk about the, the roster. Here's with this whole affordable thing. You sound like Mike Brown, but look. Okay. I, I sound like him because I, I'm trying to think like him. Yeah. Well, uh, don't do that, man. Yeah. Don't do that. Or you will become a GM, which is a gross mole. Okay. Okay. On the butt of the Bengals. Yeah. I, I think maybe that's what Mike Brown thinks GM stands for. Um, I think it stands for. Okay. So, so we were talking about wide receiver. Auden Tate is going to start or no? He is not going to start. Who's going he to will be, be the, active, I think. Who's, he, huh? did, did, you, did you forget about John Ross? Oh, he's a starting. Okay, he's going to be active. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so you have you have Tate, you have Tate and Erickson on the bench. You probably have Josh Malone inactive with AJ Green. You go. You go. How about Ifart? Ifart in or what? Ifart did make the cut. He did. Yeah. That's the only played like five snaps in the preseason for good reason. But he is healthy for now, and he is going to split with CJ Uzoma. They should really have Ifart just play the last 10 minutes of every game so it doesn't get hurt. That, that is a great point. Like, like, I made the analogy the other day. Like, you have Uzoma yeah. is, like, the starting pitcher. Ifart's the closer. You only use I him in so. certain situations. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Keep him healthy. Keep your eyes well, I don't, I don't think. I don't think closer. I mean, why not just the, you know, uh, red zone or within, like, 40 yards or something? Yeah, but there's no, like, baseball analogy for that. You know what I mean? Oh. I see. Yeah, closer is like a it's parlance, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, or way over, way over my head. Okay. So let's get to the offensive line and who is O'Shea? Call it the mess. John, who is O'Shea Dugas? (sighs) He's a guy who should not have made the roster. Um, He was very inconsistent in the preseason. Played just god awful against the Giants. Did not yeah. play well against the Chiefs. No. Had a decent game against yeah. against the Redskins, but my God, man! Like I don't, I don't know if it's if it's just like the number seventy curse because that's what he wore or that's what he's wearing right now. But he just does not look rosterable at all. I think. Do you mean just you because to, like when people turn seventy years old, they tend not to be very good at football? No, when they put on Cedric O'Boyhe's number, they just oh magic. Cedric O'Boyhe he was a seventy. Poop. Oh my gosh! Yeah, but yeah, they should like, have retired that number. The guy's not good, and I think if the Bengals add an offensive lineman, he's going to get the boot right now. I think yeah. they kept him just yeah. as a body, and I think they're going to be looking for help at that position, and I don't think Dugas is going to be around if no. they sign another offensive lineman. No, Dugas. Uh, not gonna, no, no, no Dugas. We don't, need your, we don't need your Dugas around here, Dugas. That, that, was, my, that was my biggest surprise of yeah. what this roster is. Um, 
I think Malone making it over core was a kind of a bit of, of, of a shocker, but we knew a was a lineman was going to be kept and I did not expect John Jerry to get cut, but I guess that last game against the Colts, Jerry yeah. allowed two sacks. It was just like the, the worst of two turds basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. You, you, call, you got to call them as you see. It's my Greek. That's Greek. interesting. How, how do you, I'm, I'm sorry if this isn't relevant, but how do you judge turrets? Like, what makes it good? Oh, size and you. Uh, you I, texture? Yeah. You know, so, sometimes it doesn't even turn into a turret. It's just a kind of a, a you know, it's kind of a, a steaming pile of, 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 of fecal. I've, I've watched the Bengals offense line for the past three years intuitively. I know what it's like yeah. examining turrets. Yeah. Yeah, it's a thirty. It's a third. It's a thirty world uh, uh, out there, and it's going to get worse. I mean, I I really don't have a lot of open. But John has kind of built a, a sports empire out of turds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So running back. No, 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 no. Michael Jordan. Yeah. Uh, best I'm ever. Not. What is his ceiling? Uh, the greatest basketball player of all time, maybe. No, he's he's behind LeBron. Uh, Jordan is fun to watch because he's long and athletic, and yeah. for a team that runs a lot of zone, utilizes a lot of reach blocks, guys who need to get out in space, he's going to be perfect for what they do. But he's just not there yet. He's 21 years old. He's got a lot of starts under his belt, but he doesn't quite know what to do with his hands yet in pass protection, and that could get him into trouble. But as far as what his ceiling is, great athlete, obviously great size. So there's yeah, promise great. there. And if they want to throw him into the fire immediately, that that's fine. I think that's Billy Price, yeah, I think Billy Price is the better guard right now. Yeah. But if if they want to see what they have in Jordan until he proves otherwise, I think you know, in terms of just running the ball, it's going to be fine. But pass protection might be a little shaky. Okay, okay. Well, um, yeah. And the last guy is Bobby Hart. Have we seen improvement from him? No, we've seen the same. Yeah. He's the same player. It, there's, there's an old saying on my village. Bobby Hart will always be Bobby Hart. It's something we, it's something we used to say. Bobby Hart is always just going to be Bobby Hart. Don't expect wow. more. Yeah. We need Robert Hart. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Robert Hart, Robbie Hart, you know. Yeah. Bo Hart. Okay. Okay. Moving on to defensive line. John, why so many? Why so Because there's a lot of good bodies. And the one... Uh, decision that they had to make in my mind was either cut Andrew Brown or Josh Tupo, both those defensive tackles. Both those guys made it and both those guys deserved a, a, a spot because of how they played in the preseason. I think there's more value in a guy like Brown because he offers more as a pass rusher with Tupo. You're basically keeping like four or five nose tackles, which is not very smart in my opinion, but in terms of what Tupo can do compared to a guy like Andrew Billings, who has been on our show, mind you, um, there's not much difference, and I think he provides value as a backup there. But this could be a situation where if they do add another player and they have to cut ties with somebody, 11 guys on the defensive line is pretty large, and I, I, if they'd add someone else, I would expect one of Tupo or Brown to get cut. Probably Tupo, because I think Brown has shown more as a pass rusher. So what about guys like Jordan Willis? Eh, doesn't really do much for me yet. Like, I'm saying I, so I, many guys, and like, what are we going to do at linebacker? We'll probably fine. sign someone like who uh, someone with a pulse yeah maybe 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 that'll be an upgrade i don't know but don't know. five linebackers and one of them is hardy nickerson there's just not much promise there like kind of like offensive line i think it's just a position that's very scarce in the nfl right now and obviously any offensive lineman getting cut it's not going to be that much of an upgrade because of how little the talent is around the nfl and i think it's very similar for linebackers and it's unfortunate because they invested three years in Preston Brown, but he's still a middling average pro, average player. And they haven't exactly seen the jump that they won from Jermaine Pratt in this preseason. So I think he's going to be coming off the bench still. But still, like, wow. cutting Malik Jefferson was hard, I think, because of how much promise he did have and the fact that it just hasn't clicked at all. He, like, he didn't, all right, he didn't play last week because of a non-football illness. And I was just curious to, to, for, for an answer here. What is a football illness? Is a football illness like watching the Bengals? Because <laughs> yeah, I, I get that all the time. Bengalitis, yeah. it's called. It's, uh, it's heavy diarrhea, uh, not extreme nausea, and depression. And uh, the, only, the only cure is uh, moving to the West Coast. Uh, you, you know, here, here's the question I have for you, John, because uh, I agree. 
Now you're 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 making the the fifty three man roster. Okay, imagine you're the coach, and yeah. and you've got an option of keeping our third string QB or Malik. What do you do? Third string QB, easy. Why? Because Dolagala is a good quarterback, and I think he's got tools and traits that you want to invest in the future with. I think it's possible that he would have been picked up by another team Wait, had he gone on practice you think squad. He's a starter potential, John. No. Not right now, no. But as just Never. a high upside backup, uh, there's value in that. And obviously, no, not backup, right now. Potential needs a good mean now. I'm saying, do you think this guy could be a, a, a like a top fifteen no. quarterback in the league? No. Never, never. But John. here's here's my point. You, you ask John, John the questions, John. but Hoji's got the answers. No, I want you John ask to John, say. You ask John the questions. Hoji's got the answers. <laughs> okay, all right. So here's the conspiracy theory, which is true because some conspiracy theories are real. The the theory is like this which is that their keeper three, and I started the show on this, but I'm going to keep saying it till you believe it. Their keeper three because they want to get rid of Dalton. John, go, respond. Let, let, no. let, me, let me just say. But he's talented. You keep talented players on your football team, especially at the most important position. That's, that's, that's all there is to it. I, yeah. kept, I mean, I just want to say one thing about Dalton. Uh, most quarterbacks, that's far into their careers. Yeah. Right? It, it, it's either like, you know, like Blake Bortles. Like last year, they're like, treat him like a franchise quarterback, pay him, what, $15 million or something? And yeah. then they're like, oh, no, wait, he's not good. So now he's a minimum guy or a little bit above minimum. There's like no in-between. You know what no. I mean? No, 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 and, you're right. And if it's your same franchise, it's either like, yeah. okay, we're going to try to pretend you're a franchise quarterback as long as we can. And yeah. then when you're not, okay, just get out of here. Right? They're not going right. to give Dalton like $7 million a year to be the yeah. starter. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, by the way every, what you yeah. just described is the entire world of lead guitarists, by the way. It's the same okay. thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. There's, it's like you got your, your elites and, and then bombs. Everybody else a bomb. It's the same thing. But, 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 but I think the key is I wonder when the Bengals fan base is going to get together and just realize that Andy Dalton – uh, is just gonna is not getting better, and uh, and you can't create an exciting offense uh, if you don't have a good offensive line without a QB that can that can carry that. But John, I have a question. Okay, real quick about Ryan Finley, who made the fifty man fifty three man roster. So it is. Of relevant. course he did. Of course he did. No, is I know. He... I just want to pretend like it's relevant, so John doesn't get upset. Oh, so John, oh. Ryan hey, Finley makes the roster. Yeah, he seems to be like. Really awesome. up there in terms of the awesome. smarts and yeah. reading, you know, the pockets and, and making the right plays. How is it possible that he cannot improve on his arm strength? It doesn't he seem can. like it's he like cannot. yeah, he can. He like, can. Cannot. Is it but likely? No. No. But it's no. possible. No, you are born with arm strength. Arm strength is not something that you can ever increase. You are Dude, born with the arm strength you have. This is I'm saying, that, I'm saying, like, like Jeff from Blake. the dawn of time, it has been decided who will have what kind of arm strength. John, like, is that but, true? John, yes, John, is that but, true? I need verification. But you were going to say something that I was going to say, and that is that Jeff Blake told us in an interview that we did that he can teach QBs that don't have a lot of arm strength how to throw as though they do have a lot of arm strength, and that's why we need to keep Finley, bring Q, uh, Jeff Blake as the QB coach. And, and there you go. Also, by the way, McCarron's healthy again. That's a little bit of news. You know, we have three QB there. coaches on the team already. Do we have Jeff Blake? No. We need him to teach how to, how Finley how to throw as if he has a strong arm because you can never John. strengthen. The arm strength is determined before birth. It is written in the cosmos. When your parents I've never get together, heard this before. And when your parents times, get together yeah. and copulate at a certain time and at a certain place, the stars are gross. aligned. The stars are aligned to determine your arm strength. And then you are born and your arm strength develops into the arm strength okay. that you will always have. Yeah. Okay. You know, you've never mentioned this theory before. It is interesting. But yeah. I'm just Excuse curious. me. Yeah. Excuse me. Which one of us here has ever been a QB coach? Me. Yeah. Malibu. Was it Malibu? High school. Was it really high school? Uh, it was remedial high school. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it, was for kids who, it, was, it was for kids who really didn't, couldn't make the cut for high school. They'd go to, it was called MRHS, Malibu Remedial. Each other. So instead of last chance you, it was what, last chance it high wasn't, school? It wasn't tackle football. It was and this, wasn't this just when the coach was on spring break or something? Yes. And, the, and yes. the players weren't there either. No, and I never showed up either. I did it all online, my coaching. 
okay. Yeah. Well, I think I think that is all we have to say about the 53 match. Unless John has something else to say. No, that, that about covers it. It's not, right. gonna, it's not gonna say the same. It's not gonna say the same. Why, the why did we not days. talk about the running back position at all? Does no one care anymore? What's there to talk? What's there to talk about? Mixon. He, he's he's good. He made it. He, he did. I'm proud of him. He's awesome. He, he's overcome the odds of just, making the roster. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> I get I get I get twelve cents every time I mention it. Yeah, I and mean, people are talking about this adding another running back. I don't I don't I think this the injuries, injury to Anderson really just means we're not as likely to trade Giovanni Bernard. No. I never understood that, but uh, he was never getting traded. Yeah, I never thought that was a real. No, we need Gio. We need Gio. And thank goodness Jeremy Hill's not on the team anymore. Yeah. Well, can you believe the, the gall of that man? He threw away our whole playoff game and then he insults us. You're not on the 53 man roster, Jeremy Hill. He's not on any 53 man roster right now. Well, exactly. He, but he does have a super were ring. insulting him, to be fair. Yeah. And, and honestly, Seriously. Hill was basically winning, essentially, because he's getting people mad because he won a Super Bowl ring without doing anything. Yeah. Which, respect. That's a finesse. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we, so we can get time to talk about the whole Rosen situation or McCarran being healthy, but that's the next time. Yeah. But we try to do shows more often. Yeah, um, but that's what we have for this episode. So we're going to do speak. We will see you next time. It's Fiti. Bye. Bye-bye.